Today we're going to continue talking about the layers of truck and trailer security by focusing on the tongue of the trailer. And in this case, I talked about layers. I said that I had eight layers. Three of those layers I'm going to tell you about today because they all have to do with the tongue. And of course, this is a continuation of immobilizing the trailer, which we talked about in the first video when we talked about locking the wheels or removing the wheels or some way to make it so that the trailer was untowable or at least they had to go through some work before they could tow it. So let's talk about the uh, tongue lock. This is the tongue lock, the most important thing. I've had different locks over the years. Uh, there's very inexpensive ones that do very, very little. Uh, the tap of a, of a maw or sledge knocks a lot of them off. This one, this, this uh, vault, this coupler vault for Mega Hitch. By the way, any of the stuff that I have, if it's still available, I've had most of mine for a long time, I'll put it in Ron's store at my website, which is thesmartwoodshop.com. Link in the description of the video down below. So this is uh, a fairly high-end tongue lock. It's got one of those keys. In fact, let me grab it. This type of key right here. So these are pretty good locks and not something that most people that pick locks are going to attack. So they're going to, most thieves are going to try to go after just brute force. So you're not going to, you're not going to probably knock this off with a maul without a lot of work. And even then, I'm not sure you could do it. Going to make a lot of noise, take a lot of time. And then also to grind away at it, it's pretty thick steel. I just, I just don't see, uh, th this is going to be a big deterrent. There's always going to be some way that somebody's figured out a way to get through things. But again, we're layering this, we're making each thing just a little bit harder. So these are this type, and there's other brands out there, they are more expensive, but they're worth the money. They're just going to make it tough. And by it being loose like this that's what makes it hard you can't really get a crowbar and try to pry it another option you have is to just put a lock on your tongue lock but again that's usually pretty small you can certainly add it as another layer but it's not going to slow them down very much because just about any lock you can fit in there they're going to be able to get with bolt cutters so not going to take a lot of time usually a tool they're going to have with them and it doesn't make a lot of noise the second layer on the tongue is the chains. I have seen where uh, some thieves can take the tongue, if it's got a tongue lock like this, they can get it kind of uh, mounted up on or at least resting on top of their, their hitch or their bumper, and then they'll take the chains and chain them, kind of wrapping them around and then chain them, and that'll sort of cradle the tongue and they can, they can carry it a ways um, pulling it. So you want to make it so the chains are at least harder to use. Now, in this case, I have just a lot. No, it's a high quality lock, but this lock uh, could be cut with large bolt cutters. He said the, the mediums and small ones aren't going to do it. This is one of those hardened locks. Now, they do make tongue locks that you can actually wrap the chain into them and it locks the chain. But again, uh, the, the, the uh, chains themselves are the weak point. They can be clipped. The good news is if they clip them, they're gonna be making the chain shorter. So they're probably gonna have to bring uh, a, ch a chunk of chain and a link. So that's something they can get around, but hey, just slow them down just a little bit more. The third layer on the tongue there's different ways to do this. I have purchased this uh, trailer valet tongue uh, jack, and it is powered. So it, there's a handle it comes with. So you can crank it manually, but the handle pops off. I like this for a lot more than just uh, security. I like it because it's fast for me to put my drill on this 
with the adapter that came with it and run it up and down very quickly so I'm not cranking and cranking. But by having the handle knot here and not having that attachment, it's going to slow them down. They don't just have a handle they can crank. They're going to have to, um, you know, put a vice grip on it or something and spin it. So they're going to have to have the tool and they're going to have to work at it. And it's just going to slow them down a little bit more. And if they don't know they're going to deal with this, uh, they could come and, you know, just sort of abandon it just because they, they don't have what they need to raise this up and down. The, the, by far, of these three, the most effective is the tongue lock and it's where I put your focus but you might as well throw these other things on if, if you don't have this uh, jack and by the way this is at my store too I put it there years ago when I got it um, then you can look at another option possibly take maybe the handle that you have maybe you can remove it and have it so that you have to slip a bolt in so at least uh, again, you're not leaving it just right there for them to grab. Now, the best tongue security that I've ever seen, that I had, in fact, on one of my trailers, is to have the tongue removable. Uh, I had a trailer with a long, a six-foot tongue, and it kept getting in my way, and it had a door on this side, and we were having to step over the crew, and we are tripping on it, hitting our shins on it. So just for being practical, it didn't have to do with security. I took it into a trailer shop, I had them cut that off, weld on a sleeve, and they were able to slide it in and had these long bolts that went through and locked on, so it was safe, done proper. But when we got onto the job, we popped those two pins and we took, it was a big heavy uh, six inch beam, steel beam, hollow beam. So we had two handles on it that had welded on and we'd lift it off and then we'd either put it under the trailer or we put it in the back of the truck or maybe I'd take it back to my garage, depending on how long the trailer was gonna be on the job. But the beauty of that was, if they didn't have that, they didn't have a tongue, and it's gonna be very, very difficult to, you know, at least tow the trailer uh, with, without, the, uh, without the tongue. So I'm sure there's opportunities. This one, that would be difficult. I'd have to do a lot of modification. Um, and, uh, I have seen boat trailers where, not for security reasons, but because they want to get it in a garage and it sticks out too far, that they have them hinged and then the tongue folds back to make it shorter. And I would assume that a hitch like that um, could, could have a removable section. You just want to be careful and do it right because you don't want that coming unhooked when you're driving it down the road. Most of us, this is what we're going to have, some version of this. So, Again, uh, tongue lock, locking or, or somehow tying up the chains. And that could be as simple as the chains with, the, with those uh, lugs they have on them. You could have those lugs attach them, just undo this and just take the chains and put them in the trailer or in your truck so they're removed completely. So there's a number of ways you can do it. But again, layers, the goal here is to slow them down. If you're enjoying these videos, if they are helping you out at all, then be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have a chance. Also, if you want to build a smart wood shop yourself or one of my workbenches, there's a link in the description of this video down below where you can go purchase a set of plans and download them instantaneously 24-7, 365. Mahalo.